This is weird. We don't have our what? tripod. We don't have our tripod. I'm like right in. Because care bears care. And they stare. <laughs> there it is. Okay, well that's a quite a provocative title that you're staring. Because <laughs> I care. Because you care? Because I'm a bear. <laughs> Wow, you're weird. What? <laughs> so that's quite a provocative, um, hi, Angelica. Yeah. Yes, you just left our house. <laughs> and she's like, yay, I get to watch now live. She didn't want to be in the video, yes. <laughs> we tried to get All her right. in the video, yeah, but no. Yeah. Um, no, that's quite a provocative title that you've... you've. Oh, it's my title. Yes, it's your title. Yeah. I think a lot of our mm -hmm. followers don't even know what BDSM is. I don't really know myself. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a good thing. <laughs> Oh I my know word. Beating. Um, is it beating? Is it, I no, thought it was bondage. Uh, it's bondage. BD. Dom. Dominate. Yeah. Okay. So you kind of get the whole. It is a masochist. Is that what it is? Maybe 50 shades of grayish. But okay. So. <laughs> okay. What does that have to do? You better get straight to the point here because we are not really into yeah, that. People are losing. We're okay, losing. Um, the point of it is, is, is those people that. Um, like that lifestyle, <laughs> not that we do or no people that do. <laughs> Just wait and see where you're going with this. Um, those people that like that lifestyle, they have something that a lot of marriages don't have. And one of those things is they have trust. Because if you're going to let somebody tie you up, if you're going to let somebody, I don't, yeah, tie you up, we'll just stick it with tie you up. If you're gonna let somebody tie you up, there has to be a huge amount of trust. I don't want you beating me. I don't. I don't trust you. You no. like that, don't I you? I don't. I really don't. <laughs> oh my but, lord! But you know, we're trying to make this comical, but it's really, really true. Um, if you, if we're gonna have a BDSM relationship, <laughs> then I'm gonna say, hey, what are the things that you like? What are the things that you want done to you? What are the things that are okay for me to do? What, you know what I mean? They. You, you, I think spell, you're talking about the extreme. Of I'm, this, I'm gonna talk about the, the, ex same, the extreme. Yeah. But they spell everything out, and yeah. I'm just wondering, you know, in your marriage, in with your love life, or even with just your normal life, have you sp spelled everything out to where, hey, I like this, I want to try this. You know, our safe word is watermelon. You know, just. Not that you need a safe word in marriage. You kind of do sometimes, but... No, but we <clears throat> talked about that. That safe words, people think, oh, if I'm being hit, I want a safe word. We're not even talking about that. It's just like, you know what? This is this is uncomfortable. And you need to be very okay with saying, I'm uncomfortable with this. And your partner usually goes, okay, that's totally fine. There's the trust of going, this is too much. I don't want to do that. Maybe I thought I did, and now I don't. And that's okay. Maybe I wanted that one time and now I don't anymore um, because I think that happens a lot in marriage. Like, well, you wanted it that one time or when we first married, you really liked that. At one time at band camp. <laughs> I think that happens a lot. I think I think husbands <clears throat> do that a yeah, lot. Yeah, men, men kind of get stuck you in You like that that one time. You That means you like it every single time. time. Yeah. yeah, and that's not <clears throat> the case. But even if you remove the whole sex out of it, and so the they – the BDSM people will call them, they actually have real life conversations of what's okay and what's not okay. And that, that mm -hmm. even, it surpasses their intimate time. So you, have you had that conversation of what's okay with your spouse in an argument? Do you have a safe word for an argument? Yeah, do you have, good. do you have tools like, too much. like the BDSM people do? They have tools to make their experience the best that they could possibly be. And they're both on the same exact page. They have physical tools. Well, we're talking more about... I don't know where she was going with that. <laughs> Here's this tool I'm going to lock you up with yeah, yeah. beat you <laughs> If handcuffs are necessary for you to get through a, an argument, great. <laughs> you lost I lost it. my train of thought. I'm sorry. I'm but sorry. you understand what we're trying to say is that they have a trust level because they're open and honest with everything yeah. about one another and then they proceed in the activity that the way that they have designed it. And what I'm basically saying is the same exact thing. When have you done that with your spouse? Do you have open, honest conversation, dealing with trust, how you want to deal with conflict resolution, how you want to deal with things in the bedroom, how you want to deal with raising your kids? Have you talked through all of that? So you're on the same page and then you go forward. Yeah. And that's what BDSM people have that you don't, you may not have.
and that's straightforward open conversation and honestly an easy way to do that is to talk about sex hey honey what do you want in the bedroom i don't think that's an easy thing to do for a lot of people though try it have an open conversation of these are the things that i like in the bedroom these are the things that i would like you to do in the bedroom this is our safe word because it's fun to have one this is my limit i cannot do right. this i don't want to, to do that why and don't you be on the same page of with, at your intimacy and then you'll start to understand that that can build into the other aspects of your life or vice versa versa visa yeah if you're if you're really comfortable talking about everything else but not t t comfortable talking about the bedroom stuff yeah. maybe you could just bring it up and say hey what do you like that I've never done before? And just see how that, that you know, when you're quiet and you're alone and... Washing the windows. <laughs> okay, well, you do that naked, yeah. and that would be great. Wow, I never asked you to wash the windows naked. Well, I'm just saying, why don't you wash them naked? <laughs> I might like well, that. I'm, this is me, turn it red, because Gare Bears stare. <laughs> No, I like that though. All about, right. Yeah, I think that makes sense. That it is, it really is about trust and talking about all these different things and and talking through them and not being embarrassed by it. This is the person that you're the most intimate with. Yeah. Why wouldn't you talk about these things? And that's what they have above you if you're not talking about that. Those weird people that do those weird things with those whips and chains, they're at least being open and honest and having a conversation that's really hard to have. And if you can't have that in your marriage, you need to start having that in your marriage. And I think you need to bring up when we have the sex talk. Like last year sometime, you brought Sex. up the three things that are really not allowed in the bedroom. What were they? Do not bring other people into the bedroom. Either in your mind or in physical. In, yeah, physically. Do not bring pornography into the bedroom. In any way, shape, or form. In your mind, stories, audio. I can't think of any other thing. Video. Um, and... What was the third one? Harm. harm. Do not harm other people. Yeah, it's not really fun to harm your no. spouse when no. you're trying to be intimate that's you know yeah d no damage no harm physically mentally or emotionally that's why you have to have the conversation yes. if tying you up is going to harm you because you were abused as a child then yeah. don't do stay it stay away from things like that yeah. yeah and i would say four safe words because they're just fun to use just randomly throughout the rest of the day like cantaloupe watermelon doesn't even have to be a melon honey stop yelling at me Cantaloupe. Yeah, even in an argument, you can just yell the safe, knows word our out. safe words now. What? They're melons. We're talking a lot of melons. <laughs> <laughs> we likes the melons. We likes the melons. All right. Well, there All we right. go. There's our late night because it's late. We, yeah. We, we wanted to get this in, and this is kind of adulty. This is very adulty. <laughs> so, just be open and honest, and have the hard conversations, and be true to who you are as a couple, mm -hmm. and agree on things because it's fun. To agree on things in the bedroom and outside. And see where it goes. Yep. Trust okay. one another. We'll be back in two and two. <laughs> <laughs>